What's up, everybody? It is Matt from Electric All Wheel, and today we have the 48 volt, 15 amp hour, 500 watt rear hub hay bike city run. We are going to utilize the Electric All Wheel dual battery discharge balance kit with the 20 amp connectors. We need the 20 amp balancer. We understand the current limit for this bike is under 20 amps, so that's a, a good fit for us, and we're hopefully going to be able to lay it here inside the frame. We will run our tests with our handy 10 amp hour battery, which we really like because of the Velcro straps, making it easy to apply. This will have to be some sort of wrap or installation here where we might uh, remove these screws just in case, or we can apply to the back rack. For general purposes, we're just gonna hook it up and show you and allow you as the user to go ahead and make your decision on how you wanna do it and where you wanna mount your battery. We've seen anything from these waterproof bike case bags where you slip in a down tube and then it has rack straps so you can utilize it on your rear rack and then you just close it up. You run your wiring out and then fold this closed and you have a nice protective covering with the ability to mount it to your bike. So this gets the job done and we're pretty happy with it. Most of all, we want to share a way to get dual batteries on your Hay Bike City Run, uh, plug and play, no major issues whatsoever and get up towards that double capacity so you can really get those miles in. We are hopeful we'll get an internal install. We'll run the cables out the back and then up through this area between the fender and the seat down tube. And then we will strap them off just for general installation so we can show you how it works. This bike has 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. Check us out at the end of the video. We're gonna give you the calculations for the range on this bike based on the mica toll constant. And then we'll show you calculations with the 10 amp hour battery as well. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. YouTube is our primary, so show us some love there. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida, get in there, make an event, and go for a ride with your e-bike friends. It's a large area, lots of rail trails here, so check it out. E-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida Facebook group. Here we go. So yeah, 48 volt discharge amp max is 15 for the battery. So uh, we know that that's pretty much the limit for the bike, which means the 20 amp dual battery discharge will work. And then the nominal capacity, 15 amp hours, 15 amp hour battery. And then we're looking to add two thirds of this to the system. So So now I want to go ahead and unplug the motor cable so I can create some room and slack and then move that controller. I need to make sure and push it through some of these zip ties so it actually does create the slack. So current limit, 15 amp hours, just it matches the battery. And then here are our bullet connectors. So when I slip this down in here, I see some space over the top. So I think I'm gonna try and utilize that and then lay the balancer inside that area right there. And then run some of the cable slack down the sides and then what's left will come out the bottom.
So now I'm going to prep my plate. So there's that. And then I'm gonna give it a little wrap for each one of electrical tape so I know they stay in place. my controller. that. Now I know that my balancer is here. This is out to the controller so we can go ahead and plug that in. And then I need to run this end which is a battery end um, up through the housing in the bottom here. And I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. Go ahead and plug this in. I'm alternating so I know that it's not going to strip the screws and I know it's just going to pull it in little by little on each side and then I will feel when it gets tight enough. There was thread lock on this originally and I know that there's enough in there. They were very hard to remove and I don't want to make that a thing anymore so we're going to maintain. Perfect, so we know that fits. Go ahead and take it out. What's happening is the wheel is right behind the camera, so I'm moving it and the battery hits the frame. Okay, so we are good to go. Pull that slack back. Good. 
Your arrows are, this may be turned, so the arrows are on the bottom. I just know that it also matches up with the words Juliet. And here is our battery cable. We're just gonna run it right up through that middle slot. Bring it out here. And then I'm gonna put an extension on this thing. And that'll put it here. From this point, it's just plugging in and testing the battery to see if it works. If it works, then we know we have a good connection and then we'll put the main battery back in and test that too. Okay, for demo purposes, here we go. We've got that battery plugged in. We see the display has come on. Let's hit the throttle. There we go. All right, perfect. We know that that is the second battery. And now we'll go ahead and unplug the second battery and we'll put back in the frame battery and test that. All right, second battery is unplugged, frame battery is in. There we go. That is a dual battery setup. We are pleased with that. We'll go ahead and plug this in right now. And you now have an official dual battery setup. We would likely zip tie this to the seat down tube and then run up to a rack battery. Don't forget those batteries we showed you before, the bag, etc. But fairly easy uh, install. Looks like on the timer, 19 minutes. Well, there you have it. That is a successful dual battery installation. Plug and play with a little bit of electrical tape. Remember, you need your Torx screwdriver to get those screws out for the plate down here. Uh, I got mine at Harbor Freight. So let's get to the range calculations for this Haybike City Run. 48 volts times 15 amp hours equals 720 watt hours divided by the mica toll constant of 25 equals 28.8 miles at 20 miles an hour throttle only. So with an extra 10 amp hours, we are going to go ahead and say 48 times 25, 1200 watt hours divided by 25 equals 48 miles, 48 miles, 20 miles an hour. That's full throttle for this bike, throttle only. And at the current discharge rate, I don't anticipate an excessive amount of heat. So we're pretty pleased with this. Remember, you are not isolated to this battery. You can get any 48 volt battery that you want. You're, if you want more amp hours for your range, then go ahead and make sure you've got an XT60 or a way to connect to the dual battery discharge balancer and a way to mount and store this thing. And after that, go to your heart's desire. I have seen upwards of 30 to 40 amp hours added to bikes like this. Check out electricallwheel.com. Remember, YouTube is our primary, so please give us a like and subscribe. We are somewhat active on Instagram. We are in TikTok with the shorts, and we're trying to roll those into YouTube shorts as well as our Facebook reels so that you can see them across all platforms. E-Bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida, if you're in the area, we'll talk to you next time.